Welcome to shearingandfencing.com.au. My name's Justin and I'd like to explain to you today the difference between buying good shearing equipment in your clippers and your combs and cutters and bad shearing equipment. Here at shearingandfencing.com.au we're always trialling new equipment, improving um, the supplies that we're getting our equipment from and um, sometimes when we get equipment back from different suppliers we get very inferior equipment. Here I have a comb that's come from a supplier um, that we were trialling and the comb has come back rusty. It's come back so it's not ground or sharpened. So when you try and shear a sheep or, or go to an alpaca, um, it won't cut. So it's not sharpened um, by a grinder. It's come back rusty. Terrible quality. I dare say the steel in it wouldn't hold an edge very long either. We recommend and use brand names such as Bayouin in our store. You know you're going to get a great product when you buy a good brand like Bayouin. Um, all the teeth on a Bayouin comb are all very similar. They come sharpened, ready to go straight out of the box. So they're, they're um, great for just putting on your clipper and away you go. Um, they're nice and shiny on the back so they're going to slip, on the, slip through on the skin nice and easily. They're a quality, well made, well finished comb and cutter. So just be careful when you're buying inferior combs, um, cheaper combs and cutters that you're not buying inferior combs and cutters. Shearing is a precise industry. You need good gear.